Classical music doesn't just sound beautiful, it changes your brain. It can trigger memory, regulate emotion, and even help the brain rewire itself after injury. In 2015, Joni Mitchell, the iconic singer-songwriter, suffered a near-fatal stroke. She couldn't speak, walk, or play guitar. Doctors didn't know if she would ever recover. Part of what brought her back wasn't just physical therapy or medication, it was music. Not just listening passively, but deeply engaging with songs that she loved. Music tied to memories, identity, and emotion. Neuroscientists designed a playlist just for her. Listening to the right kind of music, played at the right time, in the right way. A sort of music therapy. Slowly and remarkably, the music began to wake up her brain. And eventually, Joni didn't just survive. She made an impressive comeback. She returned to the stage. She's not the only one. Science now shows that classical music can literally rewire the brain. Whether you're dealing with stress, memory problems, or just trying to stay sharp, music might be the most powerful tool you're ignoring. Here's what happens in your brain the moment classical music starts playing. Your brain releases dopamine. In short, it makes you feel good. Dopamine is a hormone that drives motivation and reward, helping us feel emotionally connected and uplifted. It's what gives us that rush of satisfaction or joy when a melody lands just right. Then comes serotonin, a hormone that helps us maintain emotional balance, while also promoting a sense of calm and mental clarity. The body also releases endorphins, the body's natural painkillers. These are the same chemicals that give you a runner's high. They ease discomfort and induce feelings of euphoria. Together, these brain chemicals enhance your mood, alleviate pain, mitigate stress, and even help reframe negative thoughts. Classical music is not just a pleasant sound, it's a chemical level therapy for your brain. And as a bonus, listening to beautiful music will give you a dose of oxytocin, the love and bonding hormone. Music helps the brain build and rebuild. Research has shown that playing or listening to music can increase gray matter in the brain, the part responsible for decision-making, memory, and movement. Orchestra musicians, in particular, have brain scans that look different from everyone else. The parts of the brain that usually shrink with age actually grow bigger. This is caused by neuroplasticity, which is the brain's ability to form new connections, building new neural highways. For stroke patients, the strength of these connections can mean the difference between silence and speech, between being immobile and moving freely. In Joni Mitchell's case, music helped activate multiple parts of her brain. Doctors worked with neuroscientists to design therapy that leveraged her favorite music to reawaken dormant pathways. Memory loss is heartbreaking, especially with dementia. But classical music can reach places that even language can't. There's a touching story from a Japanese violinist, Ayako Yonetani, who was performing for a woman with severe dementia. She no longer spoke or even made eye contact. As the music started, the woman slowly lifted her head, her eyes lit up, and her mouth started moving. Everyone in the room was stunned. Yet, this isn't rare. It actually happens all the time. It has worked for thousands of people and continues to work time and again. Why? Because the hippocampus, the part of the brain involved in memory and emotion, literally lights up when we listen to music. That's why you can see people with severe memory loss still able to sing lyrics from their youth. Music moves us, literally. More than 8 out of 10 people cry to music. Only a fraction reacts the same way to paintings or sculptures. Music just hits different. In one study, scientists scanned the brains of people with depression while they listened to classical music. Interestingly, even music they've never heard lit up the brain's reward system. They felt joy again. You know that feeling of chills, shivers, or goosebumps you get during an incredible song? That's your brain's reward system being fully activated. Your body is literally telling you, this is good for you. But what makes classical music so special? The special effects of classical music are built into the music itself. First, structure. Classical music follows rules. Your brain loves rules. 
Classical music emphasizes balance, harmony, and proportion. Even if you've never taken a music lesson, you just know when something sounds off. Second, tempo. Most classical pieces flow at 60 to 80 beats per minute. That's close to arresting heart rate. It literally syncs up with your body and stimulates alpha brainwaves, which are linked to calm focus, creativity, and better sleep. And third, dynamics. Classical music moves. It takes you on a journey. It can be fast or slow. There can be quiet moments and then explosive crescendos. There are emotional highs and lows that flow from beginning to end. It's like a five course meal compared to snacking on candy. Now there's one piece of music that changed everything in brain research. Mozart's sonata for two pianos in D major. In a landmark study, scientists played it for volunteers. Then they tested their IQ. Compared to those who sat in silence or listened to other music, those who listened to Mozart had a nearly 10 point boost in spatial intelligence just from listening to one song for 10 minutes. The phenomenon became known as the Mozart effect. And it wasn't a fluke. Mozart sonatas have been repeatedly shown to reduce epileptic brain activity, with up to 84% of patients showing improvement. So what about other music? Well, let's see what the science says. Pop music? It repeats. It repeats a lot. It's often built on short loops with limited variation. It might be catchy and attract a lot of people, but it doesn't challenge your brain. It's like mental fast food. On the other hand, classical music constantly evolves. It surprises you, it stretches, it builds tension, it resolves. It feeds your brain new information without overwhelming it. It keeps you guessing. Unlike the predictable patterns in much of pop music, classical compositions are filled with nuance and transformation. Themes are introduced, developed, inverted, and concluded in a way that mirrors the way we think and process information. Each movement can shift in tempo, tonality, and mood. This keeps your brain engaged in real time, offering mental exercise without causing stress or fatigue. Studies on other modern music, like rock or new age, show that this music can increase tension, hostility, and sadness. They overstimulate. The music might feel exciting, but neurologically, it can drain you. Classical music is not elitist. It wasn't written for people with fancy degrees. It was written for people, for human beings. Some assume that classical music is only for trained ears or wealthy people in tuxedos, but that's never been true. Even someone who has never picked up an instrument can appreciate it deeply. Music isn't about credentials, it's about feeling. You don't need to understand music theory. You just need ears and curiosity. Whether it's a complex symphony or simply a string quartet, the emotional core is accessible to anyone willing to listen. Some people listen to classical music over breakfast, others enjoy it in their commute or when reading a book. Some find joy just sitting in silence and letting it play. But if you want to feel the full effect, go to a concert. Nothing compares to hearing classical music live. It's immersive and there's hopefully no distractions. Just you, the musicians, the audience, and the sound washing over you. Your brain responds even more to live performances. It's the highest form of engagement and connection. Joni Mitchell didn't just recover, she returned to the stage. Classical music helped her find her way back. And you don't need to be a musical legend to benefit. You just need to listen. Music can soothe stress, reignite memory, literally rewire your brain for the better. It's not just art, it's science. While you listen, you're healing. So give it a try, tune in. Let music work its magic. Your brain might just thank you. Thank you for watching The Upgrade. Give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. If you have any thoughts, put them in the comments. We have a lot more coming.